National Coffee Day just happened recently, and we thought this would be a good time to check in with a company that's always been known for coffee, but has doubled down on that positioning with a rebranding effort that began late in 2018 and in many ways is still unfolding. I'm talking about Duncan, the restaurant chain that has over 13,000 locations and serves 2.2 billion cups of coffee every year. A rebrand on that scale is no mean feat. So I'd like to welcome Drayton Martin, Duncan's Vice President of Brand Stewardship, to tell us how that effort has been going. Drayton, thanks for joining me. Of course, thank you. I'm uh, looking forward to talking about the rebrand. It's been a really exciting adventure. About two years ago, if I'm not mistaken, September of 2018, you folks set about a pretty ambitious rebranding effort. The most noticeable change was dropping the donuts from your name. Another facet of that was becoming what you folks termed beverage led as a brand. Donuts had been part of your name since 1950. So I have to ask you again, why did you cut it loose? Food is critical to what we do. But if you think about the role of coffee, and I mean coffee big C, it could be espresso, it could be drip coffee. That is an obsession in our country and frankly, the world. We wanted to put all of our emphasis on our beverages sort of as the lead and really surround that with food as the attachment to those beverages. It seems like as a company, you had already started to move in this direction quite some time ago. You added, if I'm correct about this, a steaming coffee cup to your logo in 2002. And then in 2006 came the slogan, America runs on Duncan. My question is, in a sense, this rebrand is kind of an evolution, right? Absolutely. I mean, and that, that was part of what we talked about is this answer has been staring us in the face since that tagline appeared. There was a, a vast exploration. It's, it's the typical less is more thing. It just took a little while to get there. The logo has had a bit of evolution happening. When you went from Dunkin' Donuts to just Dunkin', you kept the typeface. The Dunkin' stayed orange. The apostrophe at the end picked up the pink color from the word donuts, which of course fell off. Was there any reasoning behind that that you can talk about? We have, since our inception, had a variety of logo shifts. Not as many as you would expect for a brand that's been around for 70 plus years, but we went in this mid 70s to pink and orange. And we worked with our design agency partner, uh, JKR, and really dissected the brand. And, and it, it was about looking at everything that existed and really paring it down to that which was most essential. And if you think of the, the, the iconic aspects of our brand, it's our colors, it's our name, and it's our typeface. And so it was it was really liberating to your point before a coffee cup was added, you know, all these things were added and it really was a study in reduction. So just as with the name we did that, we went to the core elements that telegraph our brand. You've also been in the course of the uh, rebranding effort, you've been building next generation stores. The thing with the, the next gen, that is a really important part of our rebrand, of course, because that's your experience. And it really uh, seeks to transform sort of a, a transaction to more of an experience, but still at the speed of Duncan, which is quite fast. With the next gen design, there are several critical things that we did. And the first is bringing the bakery case forward. When Duncan was first created, there was actually a window that people could look through and see the donuts being made. It was really a part of the theater of brand experience. And so by bringing it forward, we have been able to entice more of that appetite appeal. And we've seen a sales correlation with that. Another thing that we've done is instead, again, of having things in the back and then you just get your cup, we put in a tap system almost like, you know, inspired by bars and we're allowing our crew to sort of be baristas and be able to serve you your drink. And that too has inspired a lot more, uh, I would say, exploration and curiosity. So we're really expanding our menu based on where we see that sort of needs and interests are. We value and adore our loyalists. But we need to continue to expand our relevance to more and more people, and particularly younger people. Drayton Martin, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for making the time to talk to us. Thank you.